A creation of a new Ministry of Livestock Development by President Bola Ahmed Tinubu on Tuesday, 9th of July 2004, despite the lingering crisis between heather's farmers, have been described as a welcome development by stakeholders in the subsector, stating that the potential benefits inherent in the industry is what billions of naira if properly managed. Correspondent Gabriel Odia takes a look at the potential benefits Nigeria stands to gain with the creation of Ministry of Livestock. The report. Nigeria may not be the country with the highest population of cattle, nor is it the top producer of beef or dairy products in the world, unlike Brazil, Argentina, among others, which ranks highest yet without farmers' headers crisis. Yet these countries are ranking are racking in millions of dollars yearly. According to the stakeholders, Nigeria can surpass these countries if the newly created Ministry of Livestock is properly harnessed to encourage ranching of livestock and boost its value chains. It is um, a key sector of the economy that if well harnessed and properly managed is in itself an income earner for this country, for exports and for employment, creation, and wealth generation. But with this creation of our ministry, now we stand alone. There is so much that government is losing. But I believe with this, the government will have data of the last stock and in dairy production, that is milk. The guarantee, I believe, economically, there is much impact. With this uh, creation of a minister of animal, Production, a concentration will be on the livestock subsector. Our livestock subsector was combined with crop agriculture. We never had the desired uh, uh, attention given to the livestock sub subsector in this uh, country. But with the creation of this ministry, I feel that uh, a lot will be done. While they say ranching of livestock will starve off crisis between haters and farmers, they observe that it will also increase the value chain in the subsector, creating employment for others to benefit, like the selling of grass to the cattle to make income. If you go to the bush, you cut this grass, you divide it to segments, and you bring it to cow stand, you are selling each 500 naira, sometimes 200 naira. By the time you cultivate it three times a day, you go there to cultivate it three times a day. It will earn you a good amount. According to Nigerian Veterinary Medical Association, Benue State, the state chairman says the Ministry of Livestock Development will not only cater for cattle alone, but also other livestock, which suggests that the services of veterinary doctors will be increased and required. We have well over 10,000 veterinarians in Nigeria who presently uh, are not engaged by government. Many of them are into the private sector. So according to Nigerian laws, every local government should have at least two veterinarians. Currently, we do not have that. In Benue State, we have only nine veterinary doctors on the employ of Benue State. And we have continued to ask, but we have many veterinarians who have not been employed yet.